Hello everybody and welcome back. And today I'm excited because I'm gonna be showing you how to get two things for free. Now the first thing that you can get for free is my eternal gratitude for hitting that like button and subscribing because seriously, every time you take a moment out of your busy day to do so, it genuinely helps my channel. So thank you so much for your support. But the second thing which admittedly, you're probably more interested in getting for free is money. Yep, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you an updated version of my favorite side hustle right now to earn extra free money online using just your phone or tablet like an iPad. Yep, no computer or laptop required, which means you can do this hustle on the go while you sit on the bus or on the train. So say goodbye to unproductive games and hello to running a side hustle. And yes, I promise you, this side hustle is 100% free. There are no hidden costs or fees and there is no startup money required. And yes, I know a bunch of you are gonna be desperately scrolling to the comment section to check if yes, does this actually work? Well then, let me show you those comments right now. Because yes, this does in fact, quote unquote, actually work. This side hustle I'm gonna teach you is the Redbubble side hustle. It's something I've taught previously on this channel and now lots of my viewers are earning extra free money every month. Congratulations, everybody. And no, as you can see, this hustle won't make you a millionaire. Very few hustles that require no startup cost do. So if you want a Lamborghini and a mansion, you'll probably have to look elsewhere. But if instead you're looking for a mobile friendly hustle with no startup costs, then I think you'll find this video interesting. And even if you've seen my previous video tutorial on this, I think you'll still enjoy this video because as I said, I'm doing an updated mobile friendly tutorial video on this, sharing things that I have never shared before. But First, since most people who watch my videos are new, I will need to quickly explain to them what the Redbubble side hustle is. So please bear with me while I explain it to them. Thank you and I very much appreciate your patience. So this here is Redbubble. It's a huge, super popular print on demand marketplace that tens of millions of customers visit each month that lets you make money by selling products for free. Yep, for free. So you can create and sell t-shirts and you can create and sell notebooks and you can create and sell stickers. All of these products that you've seen, including the t-shirts here, all of them have been created just by normal average people like you or I, who have been able to list and sell these and make money from them for free. But I can imagine that there's a question out there that some of you are asking and it's this. Okay, Sarah, but I don't get it. How can I sell a t-shirt for free? I don't have a t-shirt printer. If I list a t-shirt for sale on Redbubble and a customer buys it from me, when I have to then make and ship that t-shirt out to the customer, I'm confused. This doesn't sound free. Well, trust me, it is, because it isn't you that spends the money making and selling the products like t-shirts to customers, it is Redbubble themselves. Let me show you how it works. So what you do is you register for a free seller account on Redbubble and then upload either a trendy, funny slogan or a picture, which I will show you how to create for free shortly. And then once you've uploaded the picture or slogan, you can choose which of Redbubble's products you think it looks good on. So for example, you can go, yep, I think this will look great on a t-shirt. So you come and click on the t-shirt and then edit it. So for example, you can choose your primary t-shirt color and you can move the slogan around to pick a spot on the shirt that you like best for your slogan to be printed onto. And then once you've picked which of Redbubble's products you think your picture or slogan looks best on and edited them to make them look awesome, you then just save your products. Redbubble will store a digital copy of it on its website and will create a product page. Within 15 minutes, that product page will be indexed in their super popular online marketplace and people will be able to come and buy it. And it doesn't matter if you're brand new to the website too. Unlike some other sites, Redbubble doesn't make you prove yourself before you can start making money with it. There is no waiting around to get accepted. Brand new sellers can immediately come and start making products like t-shirts to sell on their super popular marketplace. And customers can start buying them right away, which I personally think is super cool because it means then that viewers of my previous tutorial videos have been able to start making free extra money on Redbubble within days of getting started with this hustle. Woohoo! And so here is the deal. When a customer comes and says, buys a t-shirt that you created and uploaded to the site, Redbubble will process the payment and go, yep, let's make that t-shirt. One of their merchandise factories will then print your design onto a t-shirt, package it up, and then ship it out to the customer. This process is called print on demand because that's literally what it is. <laughs> Products are printed and shipped on demand as customers order them. Redbubble will then pay you a commission as a thank you for uploading the art or slogan design that the customer bought. You set your commission rate with the standard rate being 12 to 
which they will pay out to either a PayPal account or an eligible bank account. So Redbubble makes money from selling the t-shirt and you make money from the design commissions Redbubble pays you. It's a win-win. And yes, people do actually buy products from Redbubble. I'm genuinely not surprised that so many of my viewers have had success with this hustle because in their latest shareholders review, Redbubble revealed that in the past year, they sold over $400 million with the products on behalf of users like my viewers. Which also isn't a surprise given how popular Redbubble is. Check this out, every month tens of millions of people are coming here looking to buy items. And a big reason for that is because Google really likes Redbubble and sends it tons of free high quality traffic. See, let me show you something. If I come to Google and do a search for sarcastic t-shirts, Google will scour the internet looking for websites that are related to the search phrase. And there are literally millions of websites related to the phrase sarcastic t-shirts. But their first page of results can only show me a maximum of 10 recommended websites. Well, if we look through the non-advertisement websites that Google gave us for the search phrase, we will see that Redbubble is sitting at number eight on this list out of millions of other potential websites. So you can see that Google really likes Redbubble and sends it tons of free traffic from people looking for products to buy like this. It's a really popular website thanks to Google for people to come and buy gifts for family and friends. And so that's another cool thing about Redbubble. You don't have to do any marketing and you don't have to do any advertising. It's free because millions of people are coming to the site already to buy fun gifts because they find the site through Google. And actually there's something else about these t-shirts that you may have noticed. So these t-shirts here are some of the most popular t-shirts on Redbubble. People buy these t-shirts as funny gifts for their friends. And you know what? While some of these t-shirts clearly require artistic skills, many of these t-shirts do not. Many of these t-shirt designs that are super popular are mostly just text slogans or maybe some text with simple graphics, such as this one here, which has been one of the most popular t-shirts on Redbubble in the past year. And here's the thing, creating this design here, even if you aren't an artist, is something that pretty much anyone who had come up with this design could have made with just a cell phone. And to prove this to you, in this video, I'm going to recreate my own version of this design using just my phone. Now, my previous video tutorial on creating Redbubble products with just a cell phone or tablet, I use this app here, SparkPost. And while SparkPost is great, really the app that is best for beginners to design products with is my favorite designing app, Canva. This is the app that I genuinely use to create designs for my print-on-demand business. I personally use this to create t-shirt designs. And I'm sure, of course, my longtime subscribers will probably recognize Canva. <laughs> Since I've shown in previous videos how I use it to create my designs, but in those I have always used a computer, I have never used my phone. So I wanted to show you how you can still use it to create product designs using their mobile app. So first off, Canva has two main account types, the free account and the pro account. For this tutorial, we'll be using some of the features that are exclusive to the pro account. Luckily though, you can get their pro account for free because Canva has a huge 30 day free trial, which I will have a link to in the video description below. So download the app from either the Play Store if you have an Android phone like me, or the Apple Store if you have an iPhone, and then sign into your free pro trial account and then create a new document that is 5,342 pixels by 4,536 pixels. And this is a good file size to go with when creating products for Redbubble with Canva. So once you've done that, you now have a blank slate to work with. Canva has tons of cool things that you can use. So for example, they have tons of awesome pictures and clip art. So if you want to put pictures on your design, you can. And they have awesome super trendy fonts that you can use as well. Using an interesting trendy font can elevate a design from incredibly boring to being super popular with customers. Some trendy styles to consider are typewriter fonts, handwritten fonts, and meme font styles. Alrighty then, so let's do this. Let me show you how I would have recreated this design using just my phone and the mobile Canva app. So the first thing I'm gonna do since this design features white text is set the background to be black so that everyone can easily read the white text and images as I recreate it. We won't actually be saving the background, we'll be removing the background and making it transparent and I'll show you how to do that later. But for now, as I recreate this design, I'm gonna do so on a black background to make it easier for everyone to read the white colored text and see the white images. But yes, as you can see, using the Canva app is super simple. Unlike something complicated like Photoshop with Canva, you just drag and drop. In fact, as you'll see, it's gonna take me less than three minutes to recreate this top-selling Redbubble design. 
And as I recreate this, I just want to clarify, I don't recommend that you go and copy other people's designs and slogans and re-upload them. I strongly recommend coming up with your own designs and your own slogans instead. And there is a really good way that you can do that, which I will talk about shortly. But yes, just to clarify, the only reason why I'm copying this design is to prove to you two things. Firstly, I want to show that if you had been the one to come up with this, you wouldn't have needed to be a graphic artist to make this. And two, I wanted to show you that if you had been the one to come up with this idea, that you wouldn't have needed a computer. Now, I am not a graphic artist, and for this tutorial, I clearly do not have a computer. I'm doing all of this from my phone, so you don't need to let those two things hold you back from getting started with this hustle. But yeah, I definitely recommend coming up with your own unique and original slogans. Now, I know that might be daunting, but honestly, there's one thing that you can do to make it much easier. And that is to focus on coming up with designs and slogans for things that you are passionate about. So for example, I'm a dog person. I love dogs. I myself am the proud owner of one called Starbuck. Now, I do like cats, don't get me wrong, but I'm not a cat person. I don't own a cat. I'm not passionate about cats. I'm passionate about dogs. Well then with that in mind, let me ask you a question. Do you think that I am more likely to design a t-shirt that dog lovers will like or a t-shirt that cat lovers will like? The answer is obviously dog lovers. And why? Because I myself am the target market. As a dog owner and lover, I know the t-shirts that I would buy. And there's a really good chance that if I would buy something that other dog owners and lovers would buy it too. But sadly, most people just try and copy already popular designs related to popular hobbies and topics and interests, even if they themselves know nothing about it. But that's not what I do. Instead, I try to design around my own hobbies and interests. I go, okay, what designs and products don't exist for this thing that I am interested in that I myself would like to buy? A great example of this in action is this t-shirt I have featuring super cool Swedish Philhound pictures. I didn't make this t-shirt, but I instantly bought it when I saw it. And why? Because cool art like this didn't exist for this type of breed, my breed, <laughs> t-shirts and, and t-shirts and hoodies. And so when I saw someone filled that gap, I instantly bought it. I bought it because it filled a need that I had. And so that's why I recommend picking hobbies and interests and topics to design around that you yourself are interested in because you'll understand the market well and be able to ask yourself, what would you like to buy that doesn't already exist in it? And then go and make it. So while this 2020 sucks niche has probably come and gone by now, if you had wanted to make a 2020 sucks t-shirt rather than copying this joke, it would have been much better to have come up with a new joke that you found funny that hadn't already been put onto a t-shirt before. But yes, boom, look at that. In just three minutes, we've created one of Redbubble's highest selling designs using just our cell phone and the free Canva Pro trial. But yes, the image is saved, which means it is now time to upload it to Redbubble. And once again, we can do all of this with just a phone, no computer required. So Redbubble does have an app that you can download from the Apple Store and Play Store. The thing though is that this app is only for customers. You can only buy products from Redbubble in it. You can't actually upload your art to the site using the app. So I don't really recommend sellers download the app. Instead, open up the actual Redbubble website in a mobile internet browser like Chrome. Once you've logged into it, you can open up the menu, click on your profile, and then click add new work button. And you'll very quickly see that unlike the previous pages we were looking at, the design uploader page has not been optimized or modified for mobile phones or mobile devices. It is exactly the same as the computer version. But honestly, it doesn't matter because it works exactly the same. Except the text is really, really tiny. Since it's now on a much smaller screen, but the resolution hasn't changed, and so if you're watching this tutorial video and you haven't already, I highly recommend making it full screen so that it's easier to read that tiny text. So just come and click Upload New Work, and then find the picture that you saved to your phone earlier that we made with Canva, and then click to upload it. Redbubble is now digitally placing your design onto products that you can sell. You will need to give your product a title and tags, and as an optional extra, you can give your product a description too. Now tags are actually pretty important, so for example, if you were to come to Redbubble and do a search for quirky t-shirts, what Redbubble does is it looks through all the t-shirt designs that have been uploaded to the website that feature the tag quirky. So choosing good relevant tags is important because it will help your items get seen by customers. Now for the sake of the video not being too long, I will not go into this topic right now. 
However, there are lots of great free videos on YouTube that teach and show tips and tricks for choosing great product tags to earn even more money from the designs you upload. So I highly recommend checking out these videos if you're interested in starting this hustle. Something else you can do, which is optional, is change the product background color. So for me, since my design features white text, I'm gonna change the background color to be black so that the white text stands out. I'm also gonna set the primary t-shirt color to be black as well. Black t-shirts are the most popular color, so if your design looks good on a black t-shirt like mine does, I highly recommend selecting it. So this is just it. You upload your design, add in your title, tags, description, and then select the products that you think your design looks good on and edit them so your design looks nice on it. Now, Usually, to maximize the amount of money you can earn per design, I'd recommend editing as many products as possible, but because I don't want to bore everyone watching me edit each of these products, I'm disabling most of them. And I'm just gonna be editing two types of products for this tutorial, the classic t-shirts and pillows. Editing all these products is pretty much the same, which is why I don't want to bore everyone. You just drag and drop the design around with your finger and you use the buttons in the editor to change the size of the design and center it. It's exactly the same process as doing it on a computer, except instead of dragging and dropping and clicking buttons with a mouse, you just do it with your finger. Now, for any products that you think your design will look bad on and that you don't want to sell, you just click the disable button and Redbubble won't list those products for sale. And as I said, the process, creating and uploading a design and selling it onto products is super simple. And I just wanna reiterate, I didn't recreate this design because I think stealing and copying the ideas of others is good. That's not why I did this at all. I do not recommend copying other people's products. You should come up with your own. The reason why I chose to recreate this top selling design is to show you how easy it would have been if you had been the one to come up with it to create and upload it to Redbubble. I created this to prove a point that you don't have to be an artist and you don't need a computer to create a top selling product on Redbubble. What you need to do is you need to take action. And that's it, we're almost done. We now just need to tick a couple of boxes. These boxes say two things. One is that our design doesn't feature mature content. Now, mature content is allowed on Redbubble, so you can still tick yes to this and upload your design to the site. But mature content is only shown to adults that have selected yes to seeing that content on the site. So if you wanna maximize how many people can buy your products, I do not recommend having mature content in your pictures or slogans. The other box I ticked said that I had the legal right to sell my design and that I wasn't infringing on things like copyrights and trademarks. So for example, Homer Simpson is protected under copyright. If you were to upload a picture of Homer Simpson, that would infringe on Disney's copyrights as they own the Simpsons. And you would probably be kicked off of Redbubble. So do not try to sell designs featuring popular properties like the Simpsons and instead stick to coming up with your own funny slogans and using pictures that you have the legal right to sell. But yes, boom, look at that. We are done. In just two minutes, if you had been the one to come up with this and create it, you could have uploaded it and been selling it on t-shirts on Redbubble in less than two minutes. As this tutorial shows, you don't need to be an artist and you don't need to have a computer to make money on Redbubble. Instead, as I said before, what you need to do is you need to take action. So did my video help you? If it did, please hit subscribe and click that little notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. And if you'd like to learn more about how I run my print on demand business, then you should be sure to watch my video, five income streams that I built in my 20s that earns me over $1,000 a day. So go ahead, watch my next video, and I'll see you over there.